Welcome to Bluebox PHP uh, tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, uh, further item types in the for the add box. We're going to be looking at the uh, radio button type, list type, and checkbox types. So we've got a, a staff demo project loaded, and we've got a view of the of our index page. So if we open up the sales staff table and open up the add box sale list of items and the first item we're going to look at is the checkbox type so if we just select the probation item uh, field from the data table and from the select item type we select checkbox and for the checkbox type we can select a default item when the, the value that is sent to the form when the uh, checkbox is checked and default is a 1 and also a, a default value when it's unchecked and the default value is null but you can also change that to 0 if you wanted so if we now rebuild the page and look at the add box I can see that probation is now checkbox type And if we now look at uh, editing one of the staff members, then you can see that we'll set the probation and uh, resubmit the button. We don't have an email address. I'll just put a and submit the button. And if we now we can see probation has been set to one. In fact, we'll actually hide the probation column. Down and select probation, rebuild the page. So now we just have sales reference, first name and last name of the staff member. And if we now edit, then you can see that probation has been saved. Okay, the other item types we're looking at is a radio list, uh, radio buttons, and uh, list types. So if we look at uh, department. If we look at department in our uh, PHP My Admin, we see that department has uh, either sales, development, or finance. There's two people in sales, three people in development, and three people in finance. So they're the they're the uh, options that we want to to give the user. Um, we don't want them to add uh, other you know uh, to be able to select any any other department. Or to invent a department. So with department selected and the item, item editor, if we first of all look at doing it as a radio button, we can actually do this from a list of text where we can type in each option individually. Um, but for this uh, tutorial, this example, we're actually going to build it from our database table because we've already got the, the values in there. So if we select the from table radio button and in the select table we select sales staff and the column we're going to look for is departments and if we now rebuild the index page and add okay then you see we've got a list of, of radio buttons but we've got repeats for the sales repeats for the development and repeat for finance which is not what we want so if we go back to the item editor and what we can say is we only want unique values so if we check the is unique box and rebuild the index page and add a new staff member you can, you can now see that we can say the partner is either going to be development finance or sales and it's also set obviously if we also if we edit a, a, a staff member so we have Stephen there in sales and we have Bobby in development Now with department selected, if we go back to the item editor, we can do um, exactly the same, but display them as a as a drop down list. So if we select list menu type, and again select from table, table is sales staff, selected column is department, uh, and we say well also we'll check unique as well because we don't want. In fact, we'll leave unique off initially for the test. 
if we now add. We can also have a drop-down list, which has, again, with all the duplicates, as we had with radio buttons. So if we go back to the item editor, check his unique box, rebuild the page list, so rebuild the index page, and look again. Okay, so we can now select development, finance, or sales. And also, if if none are selected and the item value is required, if we try to submit, then we do get a check the value warning. And once we select a valid entry, the warning is removed. We can also, if we go back to the item editor, we can say do this from a list. Um, if we don't know, if we don't actually have a field that has the departments in, or <coughs> we don't have a final list of departments, um, we can say actually from a text list. In fact, to uh, demonstrate it's a little bit easier, I'll just go back to the uh, radio buttons. We say we want this to be from a list. There's uh, information here about additional values that you can set. So we can we can here literally type uh, sales development and finance. And if we rebuild our page. You can see we've got sales develop on the finance. If we now add another type, R and D in this page, you can see R and D has now been added. The other features that we can also do is that uh, we can set sort of uh, which is uh, default. So if we want R&D to be checked as default, we can, as uh, the example shows here, we can just put two open square brackets, checked, rebuild the page, and when we now add a new staff member, R&D is, is uh, selected as, as default. Okay, that concludes this short tutorial on the radio list and check box types for the uh, ad box.